Hey everybody, and you know what? I figured I would share some great tips about owning German Shepherds and things that you should honestly know about before you get a German Shepherd. This is Magnum right here, and that's Aria back there. And we got a little cure, our little uh, terrier cuddling with my youngest son on the couch here. But um, so German Shepherds shed a lot. I easily sweep and vacuum at least three to four times a day. However, at least two times a year, sometimes more depending on your travel, um, your travel routines and climate changes, German Shepherds and, and other dogs like them, like Huskies and, and just big furry tri-coat dogs like these, they do what's almost like molting at least two times a year. Oh, shit, here. I just got done brushing Magnum. I'm taking a little break here. And this, right here, is all the fur I just took off Magnum. And our Magnum gets brushed and pet and, and, and scratched regularly. This is just at, at, at least two times a year or more if you, uh, if you trigger a climate change for them. They just molt. Oh my goodness. They are wonderful, wonderful dogs. Um, but you know, when I was, I joined a kennel club when Magnum was a pup and learned how to train and handle dogs and especially German Shepherds because German Shepherds are high maintenance dogs. They said two top reasons people return their German Shepherds is they come in and they see these cute, adorable little teddy bear puppy dogs. And they're like, oh my God, it's so cute, it's so cute. And then they grow into these big, massive fur factories. And there's, you know, they have to be trained, they have to be stimulated, they have to be socialized, or else they're gonna turn into big aggressive assholes. But no, I mean, seriously, the fur is insane. And that's what the trainer told me is like the top two reasons German Shepherds are returned as they get older is people don't educate themselves properly or listen to the people they get the dog from. And when the dog grows into a, a horse and gets too big for them to handle, they bring it back. Or when they realize how much they shed and how much cleaning that and brushing and maintenance that requires, they turn them back, which is so sad. So. I'm here to share. These dogs are fur factories. Wonderful, wonderful dogs, but absolute fur factories. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.